This is part 2 of our motorhome trip to the Outer Hebrides, so if you would rather watch from part 1, you can click on the link above. We board the ferry in Uig on the island of Skye with trepidation, as we aren't the best of sailors. So here we are an hour and a half after setting sail and we're approaching the port of Tarbert on the island of Harris and my fears were totally unfounded as it was a perfectly smooth crossing. While disembarking the ferry, we decide to stop off in Tarbert to have a look around. Just arrived in Harris and we're going to have a wander around the Harris distillery. Cheers. Thank you. So we're going to be happy in here, girls, with all these beautiful gins. <laughs> so unfortunately we didn't book our place um, on the distillery tour and it's full so we have to give that a skip and we're going to just now head over to the Isle of Harris Tweed Factory. So goods can only be sold as Harris tweed if the materials are made in a particular way here in the island of Harris, as we learned from a helpful young man in the shop. So it's only the real deal if there's one or two? As long as it's no more than two looms per sold. And you find that's uncommon because more often than not, people used to have, well, you could have like the older loom and the so the old Harrisley loom and you could also have like the bonus Griffiths if you want. That's where so you I mean it's up to you if you're wanting to like do a bit of single width and double width. Also you can work for the mills as a way for it. Or independently as okay. well. Well and as well. You'd be probably Oh god, what's time in your hands to probably yeah, do a yeah. bit of both. Yeah. But it's yeah, that's where if you're independent, you're the artist, you can do whatever you like. That okay. After spending some time in the distillery and tweed shop, we set off to head for Minchview campsite and travel along one of the island's most famous roads. The landscape here is made of Lewisian gneiss, which are the oldest rocks in Britain dating back to 3 billion years ago. The road we're on is called the Golden Road, so named because of the cost of blasting through these ancient rocks.
So we've just arrived at Mins View campsite. It's a beautiful location. This facilities are the best, so I think we'll be using the van tonight. Just take you a wee walk up to the facilities block. Don't be expecting too much here, guys. Toilets. Definitely seen better. Another toilet. Shower. Wow. And washing up for dishes. And a wash machine. Which is out of order. So not the best. But you know what? We're on Island of Faris. The location is beautiful. And we're going to enjoy ourselves. After settling in, I get the drone up to take some aerial photography. So Karen has just given us a bit of a geology lesson there. She studied geology at university. The walks from this site are fantastic. Um, just maybe a mile and a half to the site that way and look at the look at the beautiful views we've got here. Fantastic, really is good. The weather we've been getting on Harris has been absolutely brilliant. We're having another barbecue tonight. Did chicken on the barbecue? Looks good. <laughs> We set off early on our journey to Horgerbosch campsite on the west coast which we have booked for two nights and on the way stop off for a day on the stunning Luskintyre beach. The drive down to the car park at the end of the road is breathtaking. We have seen some very beautiful beaches in our day but few would rival this one, that's for sure. It's always been you in the back of my mind 
So we've just arrived at Luskin Tyre Beach. We're going to go for a walk onto the dunes, see how beautiful this looks. How beautiful is this beach? It's absolutely stunning. Glorious. After walking through the dunes and along the beach to stretch your legs, I get the drone up to capture more fantastic footage of the beautiful landscape. Just waiting for a couple of friends travelling down from Stornoway in Island of Lewis to have lunch with us at this beautiful spot. Pepsi Max to the driver, <laughs> the boys are on the beers. <laughs> Kenny and Agnes joined us for lunch, then we walked along the beach where we saw a sea urchin, a jellyfish and starfish. Our day on Liskintyre Beach was magical but it was now time to set off for Horka Boss to give ourselves plenty of time to get set up and head on to the beach for sunset. I know it ain't easy Thinking about what you would do But now I'm gone My head's in a spin again And my heart Well, it's just as each wee bit. So you imagine if liquid's flowing down to yes. a freezer and then went to ice. Aye. That's the, the effect of the right. hot lava hitting the cold water. It just freezes in place. So it's all lumpy. Years, no. 
You just can't take some people anywhere. Jazz. <laughs> The walks from this campsite are just fantastic. You can see the beach in the distance behind me here. And the campsite is just beyond. Absolutely beautiful. So there's no overnight parking in this location. But that's the really good thing about Harris. Everything is so clear. It tells you where you can park, where you can't. On this walk, we are in search of the beautiful Macher Fields. What do you reckon is about the best time of year to get the marker? Another two or three weeks. Right. And to the beginning of August, then it right. starts to die right. back again. Right, okay. okay. Cool. But cool. It is beautiful and sitting yeah. and smells absolutely gorgeous. It's more likely to get rain in July here. Because yeah, we've, we've got friends, we've got up to the morning, up in Lewis. Yeah, it's and, gone. Uh, it's gone away. And they said, never ever come in July, it always rains. The marker wasn't quite at its best, but it was still very beautiful. On the walk back to the campsite, we decide to climb to McLeod Stone. Perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper. Would it make any difference? Would it change for the better? If I wrote you a poem, if I posted a letter. Tired girls? No, not at all. Easy. <laughs> this single standing stone looks over to the small island of Tarency and is believed to have been erected more than 4,500 years ago. Its purpose is now unclear, but it may have been part of a calendrical system or it may just have been a navigational aid to guide boats into the bay. It was later named after the local clan chief and was possibly a rallying point for the clan. So that's our campsite down there in the distance, and look at the location. If I told you that I don't know where I'm going, don't know what to say. Absolutely incredible. After another great day's walk, it was back to the van for yet another barbecue. That's it for this video guys, thanks for watching and as always it would be much appreciated if you could click the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell as that helps your channel to grow on YouTube. And remember, live today like there could be no tomorrow.